Hi everybody, I have a volcano kit to share with you today. We picked this one up from Tuesday morning for only $4, and if you check the description box below, you can find a link to this product. I was really impressed with this one actually, and we don't do a lot of faux volcano eruptions because I feel like they're more of a chemistry project rather than a geology project, but this kit came with a lot of things to enhance any earth science unit, and I highly recommend it. It, it also comes with this plastic container that you add the baking soda and the vinegar to so that you can make your eruptions pretty spectacular. It also has this really sturdy plastic mold that has seven different volcanoes modeled after real volcanoes. And the booklet that comes with this kit identifies them and you then have to use that information to identify the different volcanoes on this plastic mold, which was actually a little more challenging than I expected, but I liked the challenge and it was really neat to try to decipher which one was which based on the information given inside the little book. Once it was dry, then we could begin inserting the tubes into each of the volcanoes. And in order to do this, we first needed to poke a hole into each one. So I'm showing my son, who's 10, how to do this and also how to cut the part below the volcano because the plastic there is kind of bubbled and it made it a little bit easier to cut around there. And then we could insert the tube inside, which also needs to be trimmed. We also added the tubes to the bottom of the base so that it can be elevated so that we could do the eruption and then after this we needed to identify each of the volcanoes which like I said was a little bit more challenging than we expected and lastly I wanted to label each of the volcanoes using this little toothpick that did not come in the kit and putting the label directly onto the toothpick I did need to staple the label onto the toothpick later on because the adhesive wasn't strong enough to hold but basically I am just making these labels elevated so that once the volcanoes are erupting they're not going to get wet and washed away and I'm adding some hot glue directly to the volcano mold and with the toothpick you know slightly bent I thought it would hold better all right so we need vinegar and baking soda for this project and that did not come in the kit and now the fun begins and that's when we can do the eruptions and this was a lot of fun now we decide to try adding a little bit of red dye to the vinegar to have a little bit more of an authentic look to our eruptions and boy that one kind of went off in the wrong direction but that's okay it was a lot of fun. I do encourage you to check out this kit. And don't forget that you can find me on Instagram at Pepper and Pine.